The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse are a group of individuals from the New Testament's Book of Revelation. The four ride forth to end all life on Earth as the Lamb opens the first four of the seven seals during Armageddon. Traditionally, they are depicted as the Horsemen of Death, War, Famine and Pestilence. Darksiders takes the basic concept and a few names, but largely goes in its own direction with death, war, fury and strife. Despite the numerous liberties taken though, the series depiction of the four still draws varying degrees of inspiration from the source material. So let's take a look at them one at a time in the original biblical order and see how Vigil and Gunfire's take on the four compares to the original. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts sang, Come and see. And I saw, and I behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering, and to conquer. On a surface level, Strife has nothing in common with his counterpart beyond his white mask matching the horse colour. In fact, the Darksiders 1 tie-in comic shows him as the rider of the black horse, while Fury rides the white. This was most likely an error, as Strife actually does have a correlation to his counterpart, which is the only correlation the two have with either assignment. Strife's weapon of choice is dual pistols. That may sound absurd as a parallel to a biblical figure, but the White Rider's weapon of choice is a bow. Strife is, likewise, a long-range fighter. This is why I believe Strife to have always been intended as the White Rider, and that the comic colouring was just a mistake. In the early depictions of the four, Strife was shown in more armour than any of his siblings aside from War. This could be seen as a nod to the original name for the White Rider, Conquest. More modern interpretations name him as Pestilence because of disease being mentioned alongside swords and hunger later in the text, and by extension, possibly as a nod to Greek mythology attributing disease to archer gods Apollo and Artemis. Plus, Conquest is somewhat redundant when placed alongside War. Strife has yet to display any affinity for disease or poison, but there's always room for that to crop up in his arsenal when he makes his playable debut in Darksiders 4. And when I had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast saying, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. War is debatably the closest to his biblical counterpart. His primary weapon is indeed a great sword, Chaos Eater. His hooded robe is also a deep red, matching the colour of his horse. The horse itself is constantly burning with roaring red flames, which the horse's colour is sometimes described as, such as in the new international version. Interestingly, the original design shown off during early marketing gave War a much sleeker set of black armour and a blue hood. Presumably, this was changed to make the game look more fantastical than sci-fi and to tie back to the Red Rider theme. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Fury, meanwhile, has the least correlation with her counterpart. Name, weapon, and even gender are all changed. In early appearances, the only correlation was that she is the rider of the black horse, and even then, as previously stated, she was originally shown as the white rider. While I originally wasn't particularly fond of the new design for Darksiders 3, the addition of black armor does help to strengthen her connection to Famine. Granted, her previous outfit was black as well, but she's much more covered in black with this one. Unfortunately, Fury never makes use of a set of scales during her adventure, either as a secondary weapon or as part of a puzzle. Ah well, maybe next time. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Death is an interesting case. The original description says nothing beyond his name and the colour of his horse, which is sometimes translated as pale green since her general paleness would be too similar to the white horse. Suitably, Death's horse is pale skinned with ethereal green flames. Death himself, similarly, has pale blue skin and was originally depicted with green eyes before they were changed to orange for Darksiders 2. Depictions often draw from the Grim Reaper, either due to the Reaper often being referred to as simply Death, suggesting this rider is the Reaper himself 
himself on his last day before retirement, or because when thinking about the concept of death, the ubiquitous reaper is often the first image that comes to mind, thus influencing most depictions of the Pale Rider. This influence tends to manifest in the form of a scythe and skeletal visage. This all carries over to the Darksiders version with his bone-like mask, protruding spine, skeletal armour pieces, primary weapon and reaper form, and even his long black hair could be said to resemble the reaper's hood. So as you can see, despite being easy to write off as a loose adaptation of the source material, practically in name only, the team at Vigil and now Gunfire Games clearly does look to the source material for inspiration when designing and redesigning their takes on the legendary quartet. It'll be interesting to see how much influence they take from Conquest slash Pestilence when crafting Strife's big adventure in Darksiders 4. Maybe a crown or an affinity for status ailments? Or they could give him a bow and arrow. It could be like a bold new innovation for the franchise as if it was made right after Darksiders 2 in 2013. If you liked this video, why not subscribe and support me on Patreon like these fine people here? If not, then make sure to share it with your enemies so they can suffer along with you.